For the airboat build, I do have some sheet metal work coming up soon. And it's going to be with fairly lightweight um, aluminum sheet metal. So I thought, well, to add some structure, I should um, use a bead roller. So I bought this cheap bead roller. This is just a Chinese build. Uh, similar, I think, to what you would get from Harbor Freight or in Canada from Princess Auto. This one I got from KMS Tools, which sells some decent tools and they also sell a fair amount of this Chinese stuff. So this bead roller, I don't need anything fancy. It's only going to be to run, you know, some beads on some fairly light sheet metal. This one is Rotary Machine model RM12. So the problem with these cheap Chinese bead rollers is they have quite a bit of flex. So you can see even just from me pushing, I can deflect that quite a bit. And imagine with it loaded up actually working, there's a potential that it could actually move quite a bit. So the solution, and it's been done before, there's lots of videos out there of guys adding structural support. And that's basically what I'm gonna do. So I'm not uh, inventing anything here. It's just gonna be welding some um, quarter inch plate steel to reinforce this to make it more uh, rigid. Otherwise, uh, so, and that wasn't a surprise when I bought this. You know, this was a cheap tool. Um, it'll be fairly easy to modify it to make it good. The dies actually look not too bad. I think they're gonna be just fine for what I need. Um, so it came with this assortment of dies and the whole tool I think was uh, less than 200 bucks. So not too bad. It'll be worth uh, spending a bit of time to make it functionally better. Add reinforcement along here, up there, and along there. This was actually part of an old winch tray, and it's just quarter inch steel plate. So I'm gonna cut it up and uh, use this steel on there. I'll MIG weld it together, I'll crank up the amps. No, it should be fine.
So that's it all welded up. It is definitely going to be strong now. And it's, uh, I mean, there's no way. Way stronger. There's no way you can deflect it by hand now. It's, it is solid. But it's no longer that, so that can go away. And it's not really this anymore either. Okay, so that's it done. I guess I could paint the handle black to match, but whatever. Uh, it's strong. So it's, you know, it's added quite a bit of extra steel to it. Quite a bit of extra weight. And I think it'll be quite a bit better. Amazingly, there's still, well, that might be just overall flex in the mount. I did add another plate down here just to mount it to the vise. I just have that bolted in. But this should have, well, yeah. Yeah, it's quite a bit stronger. So let's see how it works. Now, I've never had a bead roller before, so this is another thing I need to learn how to use. But it's not rocket surgery, so it shouldn't be too hard to figure it out. There's of course some pretty amazing skilled guys out there that are doing fancy patterns and things like that. And that's not really what I'm going to be trying to do. Mostly just adding beads to add strength to, to the sheet metal. Decreased oil canning effect and um, just make it more rigid. So that seems like a decent tension. I'll try it again. See if I can run another bead with that. Oops. There we go. Try another piece here. This is a bit heavier. This is just steel. And that's a pretty decent bead though. That's probably about the depth that I'll need. So there you go, another example of a, you know, a cheap tool that with a little bit of scrap metal and a bit of time turns into something quite functional. Thanks for watching. Next video we'll get back on the airboat.